Oh, wait, let me. Dude, you look jacked. What's up? Yes, it is another video. I told you I'd be more consistent, so here I am. But Brandon and I made it to Phoenix, Arizona um, for USA's. So Hustle Harder, our coaching business, if you guys don't know that yet, um, we coach together and we have a team. That, uh, we do like competitions, obviously, and then also lifestyle transformations. So if you are interested in work with us, I'll just put the link in the description box. Otherwise, like I said, we're here in Arizona. It is freaking hot it's like feels like an oven here but we just checked on our athletes I'm gonna show you guys what they look like tomorrow because they both look great and then our guy our men's physique competitor also just landed so we'll also see him tomorrow all three of them look insane and so anyway the two girls that we have um, they did junior nationals with me they both placed really well that was their like first national show it was super impressive and they both have like crazy crazy potential to do really well here so that's exciting and then Jonah um, Brandon I don't coach any men so Brandon's coaching Jonah and he, that dude's absolutely peeled I think he also has a really good chance at doing well here so we try to take like people that are truly ready for the national level to nationals and the rest are like regional level competitors and then with me and Charlie we have a couple pros on the team now so that'll be exciting um, next year for us but just kind of letting you guys have a little bit of background on what we do and everything uh, me and Brandon are about to go get something to eat and hit a workout um, yeah just this whole trip I'm kind of loosely tracking so I'll show you guys a physique update tomorrow <laughs> I'm scared. I haven't showed you guys yet, but um, yeah, I just got to be raw and real with it, you know? So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And otherwise, welcome to the vlog. I hope it's good. Pre-workout meal of champions. Okay. I'm really excited for this. Where'd you get me? And a bunch of energy drinks. <laughs> Those buy two, get one free. Oh, okay. So this... Using violence. Uh, here's the dead bodies. <laughs> White. Of course. This is it. Yeah. Only. Do you remember when this yeah. was like, when Christian made this like the most famous energy <laughs> drink in fitness? Yep, and then he made his own. That was smart. <laughs> Goals. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday, July 30th. So it is game day here at USA's. Not for me, but for our girls. So Jonah goes on tomorrow and Kayla and Kylie go on today for pre-judging and then finals are all tomorrow. So I'm just starting my day normally. I'm um, yesterday we ate out a few times and I actually I, I feel pretty good. I feel you know bloating all, or sorry flying always makes me bloat a little bit, but I feel good. I'll show you guys kind of what I look like later as promised. Not that you care that much, but whatever. Um, so today I'm starting out normally. I brought my little morning supplements that I always take. This is an nostril powder, so I'm taking. It's two grams of an oil powder, and I did not bring a funnel, so we're using these little hotel cups, and we're gonna figure out how I'm gonna mix this. Um, so two grams of that. I also brought my One Up Nutrition greens. I literally like can't like start my day correctly without these because I've been taking them every morning fasted for so long. I feel like with an empty stomach in the morning, when you take these, and just really like any other supplements, as long as they don't like make you sick. Like I know if I take um, just like pills in the morning, they make me extremely sick on an empty stomach, so I can't do that. But this doesn't bother me. Um, it's just like reds and greens, just your superfoods getting a good like nutritious scoop in the morning. So just one scoop of this. Um, my coach Kerrigan, if you guys want to try it. Obviously the package isn't that big, so I always travel with it. Um, so yeah. And then we have a cute little, I'm going with this one. I already filled it up with water. Okay, there we go. I'm about to go do my fast day cardio. Yeah, so I'm basically going to approach this day eating, like we're eating out obviously. Um, 
there's no like microwave or anything here so it's not really an option to go get foods that you can just warm up in the microwave so i do have to keep eating out but i am going to make obviously really good choices and kind of keep most of my carbs towards the end of the day maybe for like a dinner like a fun meal more fun meal than like salads so yeah we're gonna get it together today i'm just waiting on this and good morning Ooh, that's thick that's thick <laughs> No, if you're naked, you can't come over here. Give me one second. This is dextrose. So this stuff usually makes me a little constipated, but I am not going to use sugar. And I'm sorry, I'm just not one of those people that can do like absolutely no sweetener. But it's better than sucralose for me. Yeah, I put it on my story before. If you guys have like digestive issues and you're like one of the people that do drink coffee every day and you get sweeteners in it and stuff, you may want to look at like what type of sweetener you're putting in there. So Starbucks, like they, um, their sugar-free sweeteners are, it escapes my mind what it actually is, but um, they really mess with me. So I usually use stevia, like just raw stevia extract leaf and um, they have those packets at Starbucks too. So just kind of like finding what works for you, but like, don't like, oh my God, my, I have IBS. Like, no, probably not. You're just, you're most likely eating or drinking something that's messing you up. And it can literally be the smallest amount for a lot of people, especially women, because we seem to be a little bit more sensitive to, um, well, everything. <laughs> so just try it out, just a little tip. Okay, obviously fast cardio is done. Um, I just had to kind of get a little pep in my step. But we're ready to go see the girls, right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can I get started for you? Hi, can I have two of the um, turkey bacon egg white sandwiches? Unfortunately, I'm all out of that breakfast sandwich yeah. today. Um, I do have the sausage, the bacon gouda, the double salt bacon, the impossible. Sausage, two sausage and cheddars. Um, then can I have two sausage and cheddars? Yeah, of course. Anything else for you today? Do you guys have the egg white bites still? I am out of all of my egg bites today, I'm so Dang sorry. it, okay. Um, you need to go somewhere else to be honest. I'll have the the classic oatmeal. Okay, what and, else can I get for you? And then, um, can I have a quad espresso on ice? Half decaf, made with ristretto. Of course, anything else for you today? And then in there, can I just have cold foam and one stevia? Not a problem, what else can I get for you? That's it. All right, it's gonna be 16.59, we'll see you up here. All right, thank you. Um, well, I got my carbs covered, but I've had absolutely no protein, so. So yeah, this is my current Starbucks drink. I get cold foam now. It's like just a couple carbs that I count in for the day. But ristretto is like the way to go. I don't know if you guys, I'm trying to, yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever had ristretto, but it's basically espresso made with less water, so it has a stronger taste. I like it. Breakfast. I'm gonna find protein. I don't know how, but I'm gonna find some. Let me ask you real quick before you do that. Okay. Should I bring these down? Like, where should I put these to make my yeah. glutes look rounder? Rounder? Because I want it high, but I don't. Oh, I need to pull this up. No, that's that's right. Yeah. Better? Yeah. It's not. Let's do it. Do you want my camera with the Should I do a portrait or does it matter? No, do it landscape. <laughs> it's for YouTube. Yes, oh yeah, y'all's y'all's signs are gonna look great. Like that's just. And it's I'm, 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 yes. Oh wait, right let me. Dude, you look jacked. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> it's yes. Great. Yeah, we yes. need to make improvements. I love it. Yeah, it's all Sorry. over the place. Okay. Oh, you're Caught me in the full-on happy dance. Um, guys, I have to... <laughs> oh, I did it. Yep. Hold on. There. Much better. Stomach in. Y'all both look jacked. Sign off. Ready. Oh, Don't forget that. Support.
<laughs> what are we doing? understand that Kayla one of our clients split center in class G so here top two GoPro um, I we have her beating the other girl but hey you never know the other girl was very bikini had a great shape but Kayla just looked so so complete up there so we'll see tomorrow um, obviously they're like keeping it tight they're gonna drink a bunch of water and we just got to do it all over again Kylie got what did, what did Kylie get it looks like 10 Middle of second call out. Okay, middle of second call outs. Because the first call out was eight. So Kylie was in the middle of second call outs. She also looked awesome. I think there were some improvements from uh, Junior Nationals just in fullness and posing. Um, but she just needs to grow a little bit more. That girl has a ton of potential. It's ridiculous. So that's what we're doing. Or that's what, that's what happened today. Uh, me and Brandon are about to head to the gym. And then we're going to eat. But I brought my protein. This is one nutrition vegan protein. And I'm just gonna obviously mix it with water. This probably won't mix very well in here, but I don't have a shaker, so this is what we're doing. And we're gonna stop by the gas station, get some pre-workout, and go to the gym. I probably won't film because they don't allow filming in there. So sorry, but um, I'll make sure to do some like actual workout vlogs when I get back home. Um, yeah. Back at the room, so like I said, couldn't film any of my workout, but it was a solid pool day. And we got okay. So this is like a super easy, fresh choice, you know, like if you're having to eat out and stuff, but just make sure the okay place has good reviews and hasn't gotten anybody sick. So there you go. Got salmon, tuna, cucumber, edamame, rice, and crab meat. Brandon's for Good morning guys, it is Saturday, July 31st, and as promised, I'm doing a physique update. Um, 
I have not, I have not been perfect. Um, I don't regret any decision I've made, but I do realize that if I keep like eating out and like being as social as I have been, I'm, it, I'm gonna like lose control. Um, not like of my appetite, but just of my like actual, um, like of my body, like the body fat. Um, I'm gonna lose control very quickly just because, I mean, I'm, I'm loosely tracking, but like, there's no way you can eat out a good amount and actually be as accurate as you need to be. And um, I realized that I'm no longer a like amateur competitor, so I can't look like a good amateur off season. I need to be a good pro off season. So that's just kind of like the little like epiphany, like the duh moment I had um, kind of yesterday actually. Just like I just need to make sure I'm staying as much in control and setting the best example I possibly can. So um, I don't I don't feel like I look bad or anything. Um, I actually really like this shape. I just know, I actually prefer myself like a couple pounds over this, but since my competition journey isn't done, I do need to like prioritize that if I want to do well at the next level. Um, because like obviously in pros, it, well actually not obviously, if you didn't know in the pro league, when you, when you go pro, you're no longer in high classes. So you're going against everyone, and everyone there has won or gotten second at a couple national shows, or like, you know, some shows get second, um, pro cards. But like, everybody there is a champion, you know? So this is no longer like anything I can be super relaxed about, and I like, I'm going to demand better from myself because that's what I deserve. Like, this is what I've worked so hard for it's not like I'm not going to go embarrass myself um, at a pro show and you know what would be embarrassing to me personally is not improving from my last show I've never gotten on stage where I didn't improve from the show previous to that and I don't plan on stopping now so um, yeah so I said on my last video like all my my fat immediately goes to my butt and my legs so I'm not somebody that like walks around with a tie in, even in a good off season. I'm only six, honestly, I feel really tight today. I may be less than six pounds away from my stage weight, but being five foot one, you know, six pounds away from stage weight is like the equivalent to a taller person's maybe like 10 pounds above stage weight, if that makes any sense. Um, so I need to stay, I honestly need to stay right here. Um, because I don't have to grow anymore, I mean, I, you know, I can still, obviously we can all still make improvements. We can um, just like present better, work on fullness, work on the peak, like just kind of really get it down to a science because I'm definitely a 24 hour person. My show day physique, I look like that for one day and that's it. <laughs> so um, it has a lot to do with how much water I hold. I'm naturally like a freaking water buffalo. So I do like, I do change a lot in the 24 hours before show based on my peak and like water loading and all of that kind of stuff. So um, I will be like softer uh, looking than I would necessarily prefer, but I've come to like the conclusion that like I'm just not that person that has a tie in all the time and we got some booty. So I mean, it makes sense because my glutes are very big on stage, they're very bubbly. Um, and then if you just add a little fat to that, it, you know, if you add a little fat underneath that, it's just going to look a lot softer than a lot of other people or a lot of other pros do look. So that's just my um, reality. But I know, like, based on, like, everything else, I know when I am taking it too far. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what it looked like. So this is me. So sorry. with how I look today. Oh, sorry, under boob. 
but yeah, that's where we're at. Not bad, I didn't bring my scale with me, so I'm probably, I'm about 116. <clears throat> you know, you just, you just learn how to feel, kind of what you do, or what you weigh-ish, you know. So yeah, I'm done being awkward. That's, that's what I look like now. All right, it's about 5.15. I'm headed over to the venue to watch finals. I'm not gonna bring my camera just because I don't wanna bring my whole backpack. And they usually take away cameras at the door, so can't really hide it or anything, but this, this lens is too wide anyway to get good footage in there. So I'm just gonna get it on my phone and include it that way. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I didn't uh, film today very much just because I just went to the gym. Once again, they don't allow filming in there. And I ate the same thing as yesterday. So I'm just gonna show y'all my fit real quick for finals. So this is just a Forever 21, like my favorite crop. It's like 10 years old and I've worn it a billion times. My belt, these are fit jeans. I don't know if you can see there, but like I, they started sending me jeans like a couple months ago and I have literally like put all of my other jeans in a giveaway pile because like these are the best. So these are high-waisted, I think contour 360 in black. And you can see like I'm 5'1 and they're not even super long on me. Like they're not bunched up or anything. So I don't have a code, but or, like they don't do codes, but like fit jeans. And uh, I don't get paid, they just send me stuff. Um, and then I just got my white fans because that's a classic. Oh, oh. And I just started like working with this company called Designer Hardware on Instagram. I will link it. Yeah, so cute. This is launching. All right, it launched on August 1st. So by the time you guys see this video, it'll already be launched. But yeah, let's go to finals. And representing Body Fusion, IFBB Pro Miss Amy Velasquez. She will take the first place award, the IFBB Pro Card to your winner, Kayla. No, 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 no. Stay. Okay, it's not safe. Well, it's a sad, sad day. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that after finals at USA's, which you just saw, um, my, like, we went out and stuff. My phone was working when we went to sleep, after we celebrated and stuff, and then. I woke up in the morning, and remember we had to catch a flight in the morning to go home. I woke up in the morning and my phone, like my alarm never went off. Luckily the time change was in my in our favor, so I woke up early anyway. But my phone was just showing like the Apple signal or symbol on and off over and over again. So that's all that was happening and I went the next three days without my phone. So I, when I went to the Apple store and they're like, well, we don't exactly know what happened, but basically you need a new phone, we can't repair this. Um, they gave me a new phone and my iCloud had backed up about 30 minutes before finals. So I lost all the footage with like Kayla and Kylie running at us, like so, so proud. Um, if you couldn't tell from the video, uh, Kayla went pro, Kylie did amazing and Jonah, so did Jenna, but sorry, I'm I'm more interested in the girls, honestly, because I don't know anything about coaching men. Sorry guys. But yeah, it was like a really beautiful moment and I was depressed for a few weeks because I was like, man, every time I try to get a good YouTube video, something crazy happens and sure enough, it really does. So it's been a few weeks, over the last couple weeks. So sorry, my bad. Um, but I took a poll on Instagram and people still want me to include it, so I'm going to. Sorry it's kind of irrelevant now, but I think it's fine. I'm going to make up for it this video because I am going to film my glute and ham day and kind of explain it. I'm gonna like mic myself up, y'all see? It's pretty cool, I like the setup. Um, but between the like USA's and now, uh, we went to Vegas, uh, I had COVID, so that was super fun. But this is my first week back after COVID and I have got to get in these videos because one, I want to, two, I have to. So here we are, we're going to the gym. So let's fast forward to today. I am having a pre-workout Rice Krispie Treat. I love these, low fat, got a good amount of carbs in them. And I just, it's kind of an excuse to eat a Rice Krispie Treat, but I do count it into my macros and it makes me feel good. So. We're going to the gym, and I'm gonna show you guys my glute workout. 
Welcome back. So on today's episode of Caregiving Fails at Every YouTube, this is my tripod. I was gonna get some good angles, you know. Well, I took the little piece out that goes in here. He was like, oh, you don't need the little lever, right? Oh, it turns out you need the lever. Otherwise, the camera's gonna be like this. So my little microphone plugged in. Test test one two. The first movement of the day is a hip abduction. So. I've already kind of done my warm-up sets, so which I will explain in the next exercise. But this one, I don't do just two working sets. It's actually, I guess it's technically three. Um, I do a set of 15, 15, and then till failure. So this is just a really good warm-up for me. I don't really spend a ton of time here because it's not like my main focus of the workout. And this one does not have a good range of motion, so I feel like there should be tension starting right here, but instead it starts right here. So you kind of lose a little bit. Um, I've seen people put, not here, but I've seen people on like YouTube and stuff put pads here to start your legs closer together. So if you have that opportunity, I would do it. But since we're working our abductors, you know, that would be ideal. What it do, what it does, me being where you was, but it ain't what it is. Facing the mud, I really be hating in the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cup full of blood, and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, then play this real loud where you live. This, that, for the kids, some, some strength, can't say what it is. Your case came, ain't say what he did. Make sure move, put a chain on the gear, yeah. I've been on top of the tower, got the power with the man. Gun cock in his body shower, put you down with the squids, that's rockin' power. I done hang with the guys and we talk for hours, yo. Okay hey guys, so hopefully this microphone is working, but I've started working up, I've started working up with uh, RDLs and after a hip injury a few weeks ago, so I'm going to do 70 for a couple reps just to see how it feels. I've already done a couple other warm-up sets, but the key here is to not get exhausted before you get to your working weight. So, let's do a few here. Oh yeah, right. that felt great. Okay, so this is the first working set. I'm using 90s. My max is 105, so this is pretty good. I done ran out of my patience. I don't know trip out of Vegas. I say I don't have to pay shit. Don't try to say we related. I come to the ring and you're looking like Jason. This a black entertainment. I should have been on the base. Get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Bitch, get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Who they had trying to say that they put in more work than me. Bitch, get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Speeding head hanging out the car. I'm driving down the street with no regard. Where I'm going, I do not recall. My teachers always said that I'm bizarre. Like a ring, I keep my circle small. We back and forth, I'm Rafael on the doll. I ain't really worried, not at all. So, my philosophy on these lifts is two working sets. Usually, I go for a set of six to eight. Today, I hit eight, so next time I need to go up in my weight. I don't need to have this as my working set or working weight anymore. But on working set number two, I go by the one rep lost rule. So, eight minus one equals seven. I have to do at least seven for this to be a productive set for me. If I get eight or more, that's fantastic. I should have gone heavier. So I'm gonna hit this weight. So I had to spit at halftime. How you gonna be the man when he at prime? You don't know where you at, that's a bad sign. Me and you, we met in the past life. And the same thing happened to you last time. Y'all know I was born for the fast life. Now they out here looking for the crash side. I get on the mic and chastise. Got the whole crowd wet, they baptized. But give me for my past crimes. It's the last night, it's the last rhyme. So before you spin that last time, let me tell you one last time. Bitch, 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 bitch. So I briefly explained the warm-up sets on the last one, but same concept for each movement. Um, 
You're not trying to tire yourself out before you even hit your working set. So starting light, you don't have to do like four sets of 10 or anything. You just have to do it until you feel like you won't get hurt and you're connected with the weight. That's my philosophy on warm-up sets. So there's not a lot here. All right, so this is still a set, a warm-up set. Um, I'm already feeling pretty good for my RDL, so I don't think I will need a lot here. Especially on a stable machine like glute drive, it is going to be the same motion um, in every rep because it is a machine. That's the beauty of machines. So if you don't feel stable in your barbell glute or hip thrust or anything like that, you can always change to a machine or a Smith machine. So, all right. So this is going to feel very light and it's perfect form. Okay, so that feels great. So I'm not going to do any more there. This has been my working weight for a little bit. Like I said, I was dealing with a hip injury, so I'm just working back up. But I like how this weight feels and it kicks my ass. So that's what we do. Like they kidnapped your family Bitch, get out here and work Like they kidnapped your family Who, who, who that trying to say that they put in more work than me Bitch, get out here and work Like they kidnapped your family Bitch, you ain't gon' get me I put that on my family tree You gon' see who really got that life And that's a guarantee I can still hear my mama's voice back when she said to me so I just did my second working set. It was the same thing. Forgot to film it. My bad. <sighs> but then I'm gonna drop it down to a one plate each side. Came from three plates. And I'm gonna do beast stance hip thrust. So this is kind of like my back off, but I just like how beast stance feels because I feel like I can really isolate each glute and feel the entire contraction from start to finish of the movement. Do what works for you. Next thing, I'm going to use the GHG machine. Um, there is two different ways to do this. Well, I guess it's two different movements, but two different ways to do this. Uh, first thing, you need to make sure the arm, <laughs> this part of the machine is set close enough to where it's about the top of your thighs hitting the pads right here. So you need to have full range of motion to come all the way down. Um, the first one I'm going to do is going to be targeting glutes. So I'm going to put my feet at a 45 degree angle, knees slightly bent, and when I come up, you need to cave in. So if you leave it straight, you're going to hit a little bit more hamstring. But if you cave in and really use your, the, like imagine the bottom of your glute, so like the teardrop shape, pulling up, like you're pulling straight up this way. So it's like squeezing your ass. Um, if you want to do this body weight, that's cool. It works. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. But you can also use a weight like a kettlebell or a dumbbell to kind of make it a little bit harder. Um, but here. So you can kind of pause at the top. So the whole time I did that, I feel like I'm pulling my belly button into my spine. Not with air, but with your muscle. To kind of create that pelvic tilt forward. So that's how you target your glutes. Now this next one. Obviously, you saw that it is from the bottom angle to 180 degrees, in theory. Um, with hamstrings, I'm going to straighten my legs out a little bit more, kind of turn my foot. I still go probably at a, with hamstrings, I'm going to straighten my legs out a little bit more, kind of turn my foot. I still go probably at a 30 degree angle, and just going to target my hamstrings. So I find this one a lot harder, so I don't do it weighted, I just do it body weight. Well, my hamstrings are cramped. <laughs> Um, but now you're going to start at the 180 and you're going to go up. So you're starting here and you're pulling up. Imagine you're curling your hamstrings like you would a bicep curl. Same thing, up. So you're not trying to pull backwards, you're trying to go up and then the natural anatomy of your body is going to pull you backwards. So. 
So if you want to do something at the end of them, I like to do ISO hold here and then go slower. We go slow on the way down. I don't know how many. Just got home from the gym. And yes, that was four movements. That was my whole workout. So, you know, I stick to the basics. I don't need to grow my legs or anything. So I'm not doing any quad movements and I haven't over for over, what, a year and a half or so. So that's what we got. They're kind of boring, but I find like a lot of entertainment in trying to beat my logbook every time. So I'm still kind of getting back from having COVID. So those lifts will get stronger and I'm excited to, you know, hit some PRs. Um, I'm just cooking some food. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Again, I'm so sorry it got cut short for USAs, but I plan to vlog like next client shows and stuff, just to kind of show you guys like the stage mom aspect of my life and some of our awesome competitors. So we have a few lined up for the end of the year and that's gonna be super fun. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So go ahead and do your thing, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys on the next video.